Welcome back to Scotty's Fishing Life. Tips and tricks for every species of fish. Please subscribe to my channel and share with all your mates. And hit the bell notification so you go and catch your next species of fish. And keep an eye out for my special tip in this video. And hey guys, check out our other YouTube channel, The Hook and the Cook, with my good mate, Paul Brahenny. got to get his head round, make sure his head goes into the net first. Most important when you're putting a fish in, a, especially a big fish in the net, that you get his head in the net first, especially with flathead. You go too early, there's a good chance he'll, uh, he'll take off and bust you off. So he's hooked in the mouth, so that's a good thing. So here he comes, head first, in the net. Absolute ripper. Woo. That is a cracker of a flathead. That's a good one. There's your PB. Well done. <laughs> on the brag, mate. We come. Here we go, we'll just roll it out. A little more, a little more. There we go. I'll slide like forward a little bit more. Yep. Bang, bang on Beautiful 80. fish, 80 centimetres. There we go. Ah. Lovely fish, mate. Lovely fish. All right, let's get it back in the water. Yep. Over we go. I'll just come up round here. There we go. You ready? Yep. In Australian waters, we have a variety of flathead. And this guy here is the dusky flathead. He grows larger than any other species of flathead. And he's clearly identified by a black spot on his tail as you can see here in the blown up image of the dusky flathead. This one over here is the southern blue spotted flathead's tail and you can see the markings are quite different. So that's a great way to tell the difference between species from the markings on their tails. Now the dusky flathead's distribution is from Cairns in far north Queensland down along the Queensland coast in bays, rivers and estuaries in the salt water and also along the ocean beaches and down through New South Wales, the same, and Victoria to the Gibbsland Lakes area. Now I've caught quite a few flathead off the coast of Sydney in 30 to 40 metres, but not in big numbers. Flathead love the bays, rivers and estuaries, and sandy drop-offs and weedy areas are a fantastic area to target your flathead. And they respond really well to small live baits like potty mullet and prawns. Love worms and other baits, but also respond really well to soft plastic lures and hard bodies. And for many years, many anglers have cut their teeth on flathead as they're a fantastic table fish. There's two simple methods I love to use when drifting for flathead. One is the soft plastic. Now these have proved themselves over the last few years deadly on flathead. These lures here are around about the 100 to the 80 mil is ideal and your various weights to suit the water depth you're fishing. Now while we're casting the soft plastics around in search of flathead, another deadly method is a strip bait on the bottom. I'm using two 3-0 ganged hooks here and a nice strip of fresh pilchard, slimy mackerel or yellowtail as bait. The rig is rather simple, a ball sinker, heavy enough to make sure the bait's on the bottom. Trace of anywhere from 600 to a metre and a half is fine to a swivel. So very similar to the brim rig, but as long as your bait's on the bottom, works fine for flathead. Now when you're spinning for flathead along the shoreline guys, this is exactly what you need to look for. We've got a rocky shoreline, we've got weed all the way along that fringes the, the, the rocks. Beyond that it drops out a nice sandy bottom into deep water. And hugging along the weed here I can see plenty of bait. So just walk along here and prospect with your lures, casting and walking and I tell you what, you'll get good results. Now the way we work our lure when we're targeting flathead along the shore, we just cast out over your drop off, allow your lure to sink to the bottom and then a simple lift, pick up the slack and allow the lure to sit back on the bottom again. Take up the tension again, lift, pick up your slack 
and allow the lure to sink back down to the bottom. Now this will vary in depth, different depths of water. What fish species will it be next week? Tune in and please subscribe. Cheers, guys.